Hey, 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 Leo, this is your Sacred Scribe here, ready to do your Tuesday, August 11th to the 12th Intuitive Love Tarot read. This is for my Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you guys today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Leo, if you would before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. Also, don't forget to comment as well. Let me know if this resonates with you. If you're interested in a personal reading, information can be found in the description box below. I'm going to get a channeled message for you. Just a moment. First, I'm going to grab a couple of cards here. What's going on for Leo? One more. What do they need to know? Hermit energy. The Queen of Cups, the Empress, and the Ten of Pentacles. So, Seven of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Let's get this message from Spirit and see what they have for you today, Leo. Listen to the voice inside of you, Leo. Ignoring it is not going to make it go away, they're saying. Take time to go within and listen to this voice. Take time for meditation. They're showing me, I, I feel like they want to sit down with you and have a talk because they're showing me like, uh, uh, like an angel at a table with you and they're talking. So it's like they're waiting for you to get in that zone so they can, they can give you the messages that are going to aid you in going forward. I feel like some of those messages are epiphanies. Okay, thank you. You may be focused a lot on your coin right now, Leo, and this may be you sort of put spirit to the wayside, so to speak. Let's see. What's going on? I feel like you're doing a lot of introspection regarding your coin, but what you need to do, okay, is look at the abundant spirit that you are, okay? Because that is going to put the icing on this cake with the ten of the ten of pentacles is happiness, right? Is marriage, is abundance, is loyalty. But you need that spirit attached to it. You need that fullness of yourself, that fullness of spirit that is you to really make this last, right? There's two queens here. You've got the Empress and you've got the Queen of Cups. This is Taurus, Libra, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Is this, okay. This Queen of Cups is you. You could have um, water in your chart. You may have, um, oh, <laughs> I think this message is about this empress. Let me see. Tell me about the Ten of Pentacles. We're going to clarify here just to make sure. Two of Cups. You're looking at what makes you happy. Okay. I feel that's the realization that you're coming to soon. That it's not all about money, Leo. Money isn't, yes, does money make things easier? Absolutely. And that's not a bad thing to have it, right? To have that abundance. But what truly makes us happy is that abundance in spirit, that soul connection. So I feel slowly but surely you're learning this and this is the the 
discussion they're trying to have with you. Two of Pentacles is clarifying the Empress. So you're deciding on this individual. What is this decision about? Ooh. Now that's what's hidden. And that also talks about your intuition. So you could be involved with an Empress and you're deciding whether or not to end it. Let's see. Six of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, it's like you want to focus on money here. You don't know whether to end it or to work on it. It's like this is you, Leo, the Six of Wands. Why is this moon card here? Uh, the world card and the king of wands. I think you're hiding your passion here. You're hiding the fact that you want to start a new cycle. You're looking at love differently, or at least you're beginning to. Like I said, you really have to listen to your intuition here. You have a lot of attraction towards this individual. Tell me about the queen of cups. Yeah, decision again. But this is that epiphany. You will gain an epiphany regarding this situation. And it's coming soon. Four of Cups. You may fear rejection or you may be reflecting on some sort of rejection. Let's see. Tell me about this rejection and this hermit. Why is this Four of yeah it's like a rejection or a missed opportunity in love this is all about love and money it's like love and money <laughs> that's what this reading is about i don't know why you feel hmm. yeah this is the wish card so i do feel this may be a wish but you're not believing in it you're not believing in it. You're mistrusting it. You're, you're feeling like oh, it's a missed opportunity for some reason. I feel like you're getting in your own way with the lover's card. Yeah. And you just need to take a leap of faith. You just need to say fuck it and take a leap of faith. That's it. That's what you need to do. Yep. You need peace in your life. So first and foremost, you must find peace. So put aside the pinnacle for now, right? The focus anyway, for at least a little bit, right? Go within, find that peace. This will clear the cobwebs out of your mind here. One more final. Yeah. And be optimistic about the future. Be optimistic about this love situation. All right, Leo. Yeah, you're keeping this to yourself. This person may be hidden, too. You may be keeping this person a secret, which is why the moon is here and the high priestess. But this, again, is talking about your intuition. You need to connect. You need to connect. Okay? All right, Leo. I hope this helped. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading with me, that way this is more specific to you and your needs and your questions. Information is in the description box below. Have yourself a fantastic day, Leo, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. Namaste.